Hi guys, Dr. Lavin. So today our medical life hack is about earwax. Now I know straight away you're gonna say earwax, what a boring problem, is it really necessary to talk about? But actually it does have a profound impact on many of our patients and it's quite important to get this right, especially you can think about our young generation, those that attend school. When they're not hearing properly due to the blockage, it actually obviously affects their hearing but also affects their speech development and this can have quite a big impact in terms of their performance at school. Our older generation, you can imagine, they do depend on seeing people, communicating to keep their spirits and their mind up. But actually, by not being able to hear very well, it can actually lead to low mood and sometimes even depression. So with earwax, you know when you do go and see your primary care team, one of our nurses or doctors will typically syringe your ears out for you. There are other methods, something called microsuction, which is typically done privately or in the hospital through a referral, where we almost do like a vacuum suctioning of that wax. But for our purposes here for general practice, we typically do syringing. Just remember, try not to do syringing too often. The problem is by shooting water into that area, we're potentially irritating the eardrum and that can actually cause its own problems due to inflammation, but also can actually risk things like dizziness after having the procedure done. So the best way is if you are gonna have your microsuction or your syringing procedure done, where we remove that wax out, try and maintain and ensure that the wax doesn't develop again. And a quick trick that I normally tell many of my patients is after they've had their session of removing that wax, maintain it every few weeks or so with a little bit of olive oil drops into that ear. So I sometimes say every Sunday evening before bed, a couple of drops in the right, couple of drops in the left, every few weeks to try and keep that level from stopping it from producing high levels of wax. Because if you are prone to produce a lot of wax, it will continue to be a problem. So our medical life hack today is about earwax and trying to avoid it developing after having a procedure done, and that's by placing olive oil every couple of weeks into both ears. Thanks for watching.